Okay, today is September 13th, 2017. Just got home last night at 11 o'clock. This looks similar. This is actually worse debris than Hurricane Matthew last year. And now I'll spin you around a little bit and I'll show you what really happened. All my fence is down. No such luck that a piece of shit house would have got blown down. It would have been nice. Show you the backyard. Bunch more fence down. Coming through the garage. Got the Marky G helping. Temporary kitchen. There's my Small, two smaller solar trackers I had help from time to take down. Basically, I took everything out of my house because I didn't think I'd come back to a house. And it, it pretty close to I did not come back to a house. Here's my screen room. Destroyed. I had about maybe 50 shingles ripped off my house. There were 120 mile wind gusts through here. I just took pictures underneath it. It's definitely rocked on its foundation. It twisted it a little bit. Toy hauler made it unscathed. No more fence over there. Quick walk around. Nice day to be doing this. Feels like temperature is only 100 today. Not bad. Got my big generator hooked in. All in my toy hole. The AC's running. The well pump's working. A big huge tree over there came down. Fence is racked over there. Fence in the back is gone. Skirting's blown off. As I said, the house shook and it shifted. AC's still here. My batteries are still here. And my six panel solar tracker. That's what happened to it. 120 mile an hour winds. She flipped over. Bent the supports underneath and ripped the uh, mount off the actuator. Before I left, I took my solar controllers down. You can see where it bent it. I got to put the actuator back up. I'm just now, it's about 3 o'clock, I'm going in the house to uh, hook up my inverter and my solar charge controllers. I took all of that crap with me. The only thing left behind was obviously the AC and the battery box. And this guy here made it four panel unit. Got tree branches down, trees, trees next door, bro broken. Telephone pole out there is leaning. A lot of cleaning up to do. There's no telling when my insurance guy will get here. This I just noticed. Well the house rocked. You can see those piers are all in line. Two on the other side there kicked out. This whole thing was rocking and rolling. So that's the update here from Hurricane Irma. I went up to Georgia. I wasn't even planning on coming back to uh, Florida because I was up 1,600 miles north of here working up the Market G shop where it was nice and cool. We transported a car to Florida the very day that. They said this was going to get nasty, so I decided to come here. So lots of work. Lots of work. Then when I get this squared away, i got to go back to New Hampshire again. Get my little generator, my laptop, my motorcycle, and my trailer. That's still up there. Because this was not planned to come home. But luckily I did. So anyway, that's it. Hurricane Irma stung me this time. We'll see what happens. I'm estimating this is at least $40,000 worth of damage. But, toy haul is still good. Had the generator on the trailer. I gotta get up and temporarily patch my roof so it doesn't leak. And that's the Irma update. They got me this year. Alright, that's all for now. I'm out.